Hi guys today we have a new project, this time something new for our channel, let's see what it is. This is a 2009 Land Rover Defender with a 2.2 turbo diesel engine, 122 horsepower for such a big car. We will make a real monster Jeep out of it. Let's tell you what is already installed on it and what else we will install. This car has already installed a front power bumper with a VRN winch with a Kevlar cable. Go ahead. Tybus suspension is also installed, these are lift springs and they are a little stiffer to make the car a little higher. The shock absorbers are cool from the Tybus company, I will drive a little later or even drive after we finish the car and I will tell you about these shock absorbers. Also excellent rims from Tybus. These are very cool rims with a double beadlock. The rubber is clamped on both sides and you can lower them to zero. These rims also come with pumping, we have those for sale for the R16 Gelinvagen, in stock. 37 size Maxi's Crawler, it's not for everyone. As for me Maxi's Trepidor looks meaner, but that's what it is. There are grills on the side doors, let's show you why they are. This is how it rises and is screwed on one bolt and you eat like in an armored car. You see that some elements of the body are missing, the car arrived injured, the wing and the threshold itself were bent. We removed it and fixed it, because we didn't want to show it to you. To be honest, the whole body is a little damaged, there are no gaps, for example. But we will fix it all, put it up somewhere adjust the locks and hinges, but that's all in the future. There is also a grill on the back, but it is not working. Let me tell you about the interior. The interior of this car is as unique as its appearance. Of course, this is all for an amateur. Rikarovsky seats, look cool, most likely they are light. I moved as far back as possible and my knees rest, my height is 1.87. Steering wheel without airbag sports. Here I am sitting in a car on a very strong fan. I sit down and lean against the door with my elbow. The steering wheel is slightly shifted to the left, and there is no way to fix it. I once went to Defender 90, for the first time I felt that it was a very uncomfortable car. You understand that when I turn the steering wheel sharply, my elbow beats against the door. The car has seven seats, three rows of seats, there is a sofa for three seats in the back, and two seats in the center. The ceiling is also very high, in general, we will also put the interior in order. Behind this car is also unique, look at the handle, it is extremely inconvenient to open the trunk. Here you can also climb in and sit on the rear seats. We will modify the car so that the car becomes a real monster. 
There will be a power bumper at the back, whatever the client wants, and the styling will be the same as the front. Also, there will be a power frame outside, I don't know why, because the car came from a country where off-road is prohibited. The arch extensions will be made of fiberglass, but we will take them from 4 by 4 squared, it is clear that we will have to cut somewhere, etc. All this will be ahead. Power trunks or forwarding trunk. It will all be built in stainless steel because if it's not painted anywhere it will rust. We will also restore the body and paint it in a dark grey mat. You may remember our six-wheel monster from the USA which we painted in the same color. We also have a difficult task in front, we need to make the car look brutal. We will install Brabus style snorkels from Gelenvagen. See if we can do it. If it works out, it will be great. Also, a hood cover from Gelenvagen, we will try and show you. Also the power pegs. They will be powder coated like everything I told you about. Power footrests so that the car does not bend in the event of a collision. Under the thresholds there will be automatic steps from the gel invasion. We will also try to install this, that is, when the doors are opened, the footboard will extend, since the car is high and it will be difficult to climb without them. We will also refine the axles, the client asked to strengthen them and this is more for beauty than for off-road. And accordingly we will sandblast the axles and paint them. The interior will also have a lot of improvements. The front panel will be disassembled and covered with leather, somewhere there will be an Alcantara insert, also a line in the color that the client wishes, also carbon fiber lamination, since there is something like carbon fiber, but this is all garbage. The ceiling will be in place, clips may be installed and everything is covered with Alcantara. The front seats, etc. will be altered, in the center of the Alcantara on the sides of the original leather. Also carpets, door trim will be tightened with leather and Alcantara, I told you everything, maybe I forgot something. In general, now we are stopping by the hangar and starting to manufacture the rear power bumper. I will use the technology proposed by subscribers, that is, bend the part in the shape we need and then weld everything, it's a little long, but I will follow your path and show how we will do it. This is how we got the power bumper, now we are working on the tow bar part. Here is our defender, we tried on gel invasion arches, more and less. It will be necessary to fit the part under the bumper and body and under the power threshold. Let me remind you that these are arches for the Jellica 4x4 squared.
Here are the arches in their places, we have edited them a bit. We also completely set the wheel to the center so that everything was symmetrical. There was also a lot of work in front, but everything worked out. Now we will decide what to cut from the bottom by asking the client. We may have to lengthen the bumper so that everything is harmonious and beautiful. Behind us, we have success, we cut it off a little. Raise the lower part, it will lengthen here and there will be no gap, an elastic band will be installed like a gel invasion AI, and I think we succeeded. This part will be adjusted when we make the steps. We will cut the front and now I will show what will happen to the lower part. Now we are starting to manufacture power steps under which there will be automatic steps for the entire length of the doors. This is how we got the power threshold, it is clear that soon it will be cooked, cleaned, painted with powder paint and then it will be ready. At the request of the client, they gave a reverse angle here. It looks great. Now we will install automatic steps under these same power thresholds. This is how we got the automatic footboard, there is a gap of 1 cm, maybe a little more by 10 mm. We were asked by the client to pull it up to the top as much as possible so that the part was not visible beyond the power threshold. This is a very good option. Everything opens and works. Here you will need to shorten it a little because it is ugly, since it is very close to the wheel and you do not need such a long one. So our video comes to an end, let's show how we made the rear bumper using your technology. We took a sheet of metal, cut it out according to a template, bent it on machines, welded some places, polished it and it turned out the same way as we did before, the only thing that we did it for was longer. Immediately we installed an American style tow bar in order to hitch a trailer and carry ATVs and so on. We installed a spare wheel, this is a huge and heavy wheel, we have heavy wheels, as they come with a beadlock on both sides and are collapsible and size 37. The mount was from some company but we finalized it. Installed on the bearing, also in the bumper amplifiers, since all fasteners are attached to the bumper and frame, and therefore will not hang out. The door opens without problems, except for the uncomfortable handle. Nothing catches anywhere. And when closed, we made a special platform with a plastic ending so that the door does not sag and the door does not break out in the pits. This is the emphasis of the entire mechanism that holds the wheel.
Also, when closing, you can hear how it all rests on this detail. From the front, I showed you everything, arch extensions from the Gelinvagen 4x4. I showed you the installation process, we narrowed them down, cut them off everywhere, the work was worth it, I already see that in the end there will be a very beautiful car. Power steps, metal 4 mm, so that if something catches on something, the threshold does not enter the salon. Under them is an automatic step, it seems to me that this is necessary, because the car is very high, I stand and the threshold is above the knee and it is difficult to get into the salon. And if instead of me there is a girl or a woman, the automatic trip will save you. These grills also give their style. At the end, when everything is cooked and painted, the whole car will be matte, by the way, the mirrors from the Gelinvagen of 2014 were installed at the request of the client. If you install Gelinvagen snorkels here, the car will be beautiful and aggressive. This car is not very comfortable to drive, but it still has the appearance of brutality. The next stage is the refinement of the engine, we will not do this, but we will raise the power. Now we will pull out the engine with a gearbox and distributor, this entire assembly and give it to a company where a large turbine, heads, cylinders will be installed, I don't know all this, but I'll tell you in the next video. This is where I end, be sure to write your opinion about this car. And will we be able to do something good? And those who own this car, write to us why, when driving at high speeds, the temperature rises, for example, by 120 km per hour. Perhaps this is a high speed for this car, but if someone knows the solution to this problem, be sure to write to us in the comments. Here the engine is 2.3 turbo diesel with a turbo diesel and 120 horsepower, the client was driving to us and the temperature rises during acceleration. If you increase the power, the temperature will rise even more, but the guys know their stuff and maybe there will be an enlarged radiator. In general, write your comments and I'll buy.